Hi there, it's Carol Marock at carolmarock.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Solo and Smart. And this is the place where I offer uh, tips, advice, resources, and even interview experts uh, so that those of us who are growing older and living solo have some really good information for self-care, for housing, for health, for fitness, and everything dealing with our top concerns. And today's a video, I am uh, continuing with a conversation uh, on the attitudes of solo agers. And I find this very interesting that the nearly half or 45% of uh, individuals living solo feel optimistic about their quality of life as they age. And roughly the same who feel neither optimistic nor pessimistic. So that's about 43%. Their outlook is similar to that of other adults 50 plus who may have a partner and likely adult children or spouse to rely on. So the feelings about quality of life as they age uh, is pretty high or actually equal to that of uh, other adults who are in a you know different circumstance when living uh different circumstance of living with other people, I should say. And also another interesting factor in this AARP study is, in fact, most solo agers have positive feelings about living alone as they age. And only about 16% feel worried uh, as they get older, and worry decreases with age. In fact, only about a third hope to find a spouse or live-in partner, and that desire decreases with age, as you can see here. So solo your descriptions of the living alone as they age is uh, independent, uh, that's the top uh, descriptive uh, that most uh, solo agers select for themselves. They're satisfied, they're happy, they're, uh, or they're either neither good nor bad. And worry does decrease, as I mentioned, from 21% of people in their 50s to 14% of people uh, age uh, 60 plus. And the support to rely on, the freedom is the best thing about living alone, as most uh, solo agers have reported to AARP in this survey. So when asked uh, in open-ended questions, uh, those living alone say that the best thing about uh, living solo is having freedom to do what they want and not to have to answer to anyone. They say the worst part of living alone is feeling lonely. Uh, as you can see here in this chart, freedom, uh, they 44% feel really grateful for having the freedom to do what they want. And uh, nobody to answer to, 26%. And peacefulness and quiet is 16%. And independence is 11%. Uh, when living alone. And the worst thing about living alone is the loneliness factor, having to do things by myself, lack of companionship, and there is no downside to living alone. Uh, so I'm curious, where do the listeners here in, today tell me in your comment, in the comment section below, give me, a, give me your best thing about living alone and your worst thing about living alone. And I can tell you my best thing is uh, I really do feel more at peace and I really enjoy my quiet time. And the worst thing about living alone is maybe nobody to talk to, but where I live, I don't feel like I'm alone. I'm, I live alone in my apartment. 
However, the building I live in is very social and there are people around all the time. So I rarely feel, I don't feel lonely and I rarely feel like I'm living alone, <laughs> which is the good news, I guess, because when I lived in the suburbs and I felt very isolated. So as you look at these different topics and opinions, just know that if you have one or two big concerns about living alone, I invite you to join my uh, Solo Aging Master Group Coaching, where we meet twice monthly for a nominal fee. And we have great times discussing our resources, really thinking through some of the issues that we face, and coming up with some pretty, pretty good answers and pretty good solutions for ourselves. So I invite you to, to join me there. And you can find all the information below in, this, uh, in the description of this video. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. Circle back uh, again tomorrow or the next day where I will have more achievable tips. And be sure and subscribe to this YouTube channel, share it with a friend, and I will see you soon. Thank you for joining me today.